Activate. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make VBS scripts and bat scripts to run on your computer to uh, prank your friends or run loops of certain things. Uh, they're all a lot of fun and I'm going to be showing you how to make those. So on your desktop what you're going to do is right click, go to new, and make a text document. And it's going to come up with a, a way to name the document. What you're going to do is select all of it, delete it, and then type uh, whatever you want the name of document to be. So we'll just call it prank. And this is very important. You want to type dot VBS. Okay. This will make it a VBS script. When you click on it, it will say if you want to change this file name extension, hit yes. And so it should change the icon to a script looking like document. Now, right now, uh, it's not going to do anything if you click on it, but if you right click it and hit edit, what should happen is it should open up in a notepad file here. So what you can do with this notepad, this is where you place the uh, code. And I'm going to have a link in the description box to a website with uh, all sorts of different VBS codes and bat codes that you can try out and use for yourself. So I'm just going to do a couple tests and show you how this thing works. I'm going to do a message box code. So this is a really simple one. It just makes a message box. So let's just make one message box and we'll in quotes is where you type what you want it to say so we'll just say hello okay so now you want to save this okay now it's saved you can go to your VBS script and just double click it and as you can see this pop-up comes up and it just says hello okay cool what else can we do all sorts of other ones we can basically make this into a loop by adding a do at the beginning and a loop at the bottom. So we'll change this text to looping. Save it. Double click this. As you can see, it says looping. You click OK, it just makes another one. So I can sit here and I can just click OK forever and I'll just keep making a new box over and over and over. Now, the very important part that you should pay attention to is exiting the loop. There is really no way. You can click X, you can click OK. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you can't get out of it. The only way to get out of it that I know of is to right click on your taskbar at the bottom, open Task Manager, okay? Sort it via name, okay? And at the very bottom, you'll see a uh, program called wscript.exe. That is this program that's running. It's a it's a just the script runner in that process. And as you can see, it ended the VBS script. Okay. Another really fun one is one that will turn caps lock on and off repetitively. So that is this. So basically, uh, it'll set uh, some stuff up and then it will every 100 milliseconds it will swap the caps lock on and off so it's in a loop so it'll constantly keep swapping it so um, I'll show you if I hit save and then run it right now my caps lock key uh, the light is actually blinking repetitively so I'm just gonna type without hitting shift or anything I'm gonna say um, so as you can see some of my letters are caps and some aren't it's really annoying if you're trying to type obviously without caps lock on. Uh, once again, there is no way out of this loop except for opening task manager, going to W script and ending the process. At that point, caps lock is now off and you can go about your merry way. One of my personal favorites is one that makes your computer talk to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit paste this in here. Um, basically, this is what you want your computer to say. This is the rate at which they'll speak, so you can change this to make them speak faster or slower. And this is the string that they'll speak. So this and this should be the same thing. So this, instead of saying goodbye, I want to make it say hi. Okay, so make sure my speakers are on. And now when you double click on this, you should hear. Hi. 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 So what's something really interesting you can do is you can put this in a loop as well. So pretty much any of these codes, you can always put it in a loop. So you just type do and loop at the beginning. Go ahead and save it. Now it should repetitively say hi over and over and over. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. And it's really, really annoying. Hi. And once again, you cannot get out of this. Hi. Unless you close it. Hi. Because holy cow, that lady is really annoying. What we're now we're going to do is we're going to make a batch code, which is uh, sort of like the same thing as VBS, except it's a lot more powerful. Um, so once again, right click, make a new text document, name it uh, something dot B A T. So it's now a bat file. Okay. And uh, it should change the icon. Go to edit, open up Snowpad. Uh, there's quite a bit of bat codes that you can run. Um, what we're going to do is just paste any one you want in here. This one, it will swap the mouse buttons. Um, so it's, it's really annoying. And actually, I think you have to shut down your computer in order to switch it back. So I'm not actually going to run it because I really don't want to swap my mouse buttons. But uh, it'll make your right click a left click and your left click a right click if uh, anybody were to run this on their computer. So I'm not going to do that because I really don't want that to happen. But there's lots of different bats codes, ones that uh, will shut off your computer, some that will delete your entire hard drive, which are really malicious and you shouldn't use those. But, uh, you know, I can't stop you, I guess. But anyways, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.